Hey everyone, it's Thursday the 15th of February and it's currently 8.45 in the evening. And Smudge is joining me on the worktop. He's just out of sight. He's sitting here, bless him. I'm not going to show you him because then I'll spoil what else I've got to show you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> right, today's video. We have a retro PC to look at. Bought it on eBay over last weekend. It arrived this morning. Um, there's also some brand new diecast to show you. I've got Siku models, Hot Wheels and Majorette, all brand new. Um, and a light fixture of some description. I really don't know what it is. I bought it last summer at Alsham Car Boot Sales. It's been sitting in my workshop over at my mother's since then, because I kept forgetting to bring the darn thing home. <laughs> <clears throat> I only remembered it today because I've got some damp problems that are running along that particular wall. Because um, obviously my workshop is basically a lean-to workshop. One of the house walls is uh, the workshop walls. Um, and we're not sure what is causing the damp. But I moved that light fitting and it was soaking wet. And all the ground is soaking wet there. All the rest of the wall is perfectly dry. You know, and we've still got the original roof overhang, the eaves and the guttering and everything, none of that leaks, there's nothing leaking down the wall, my workshop roof doesn't leak, so we're not really sure what's causing the damp, so they're getting their, I suppose you'd call them the landlords, out to have a look, they're coming up Monday. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just pop some extra lights on. I'll show you the light first, then we'll have a look at the diecast, then we'll have a look at the uh, PC. I'm not sure if it's going to work because I've currently got the uh, BIOS battery removed. Um, hopefully I'll still post at least. Whee! Anyway, here's the light fitting. Now. It's got a red lens. It's got these, I don't know if you can see it that well on camera, but there is some louvres at the top there, or louvres, however you pronounce it. This bit, the shade, seems to be aluminium with a die cast body I'm saying die cast because this thing it's not that big but it is bloody heavy um, and my stepdad thought maybe railway lamp, lamp of some sort could be I suppose it doesn't look like a British one to me though if it is um, and then he said possibly it was on a boat or something like that or a ship I really don't know I've not even Open this up to see what sort of lamp it takes. But on, I mean, you've got a set of bolts to hold the shade on. Then you've got another set of bolts to hold what I presume is the lens on. And then you've got four screws on the back there, which may be for access for wiring, I'm guessing. Because that looks like the cable entry. Which was, I guess, meant to have some sort of gland or something in it. But it's big ish and heavy. Very heavy. I have no idea what the light is. I just bought it. Was, well, in fact, I walked around the car boot like twice before I decided to go back for this one. Because I was thinking about it. And there's a big risk when you think about things like that. But, um, because the risk is, you could go back and find that they've sold it. But no, that was still there. They only wanted 30 quid for it. Which I thought was a decent price for something as unusual as that. Um, I was actually going to try and wire it up and uh, hang it up in the workshop, just as a decorative novelty light thing. Yeah. But if anyone knows what that light actually is, please leave a comment. Because I am interested to uh, know. Right. The die cast. It's all over here at the minute. Um, I'm going to start with the Siku. So there's five models. Uh, three of them... <coughs> nope, two of them are lorries. So we've got this, uh, what we would call in the UK, a roll-on, roll-off. Um, yeah, I got this at my uh, local Lidl's. I didn't even realise they had these in until yesterday. Uh, Five ninety-nine a pop. But uh, Siku, it's a German company. Um, they're not cheap, but they do make some decent quality models so we've got that one I have got 
I really like this. I think. Well, I thought it was a Mercedes, but that's not a Mercedes badge on the grill. It doesn't say what they are on the box. Well, at least I've not found it yet. There's another one. Big old RV. The P wasn't uh, 176 scale, and I could have used it on my uh, on the railway. I think it's a class tractor. Most likely because I know class is German. Yep. Class tractor and trailer. And I can't remember if there was another different tractor there or not. Uh, and the last two, let me just stack these back. They're out of the way, nice and tidy. These will be opened naturally. Got, I believe that's a Scania with a rocket on the back and some sort of a mobile crane. Put those in for a minute. I've got four majorettes and I was actually convinced that Sainsbury's had stopped stocking these because um, I haven't had any in since last year, literally since December. Um, <clears throat> the shelf had just sat empty, you know, with their temporarily out of stock sticker stuck on it. Um, but I went into Sainsbury's yesterday and I noticed on the shelf um, a box, a bit like a Hot Wheels. Um, box that you get on the shelf. One of them full of majorette. Um, the other reason I was actually convinced that they'd stopped it is because they've rearranged all their toy shelves and I didn't see a majorette label anywhere or majorettes until yesterday when I saw the box on the shelf above the Hot Wheels. So I've got four of them. We have. Hopefully they'll keep the box stocked up. So we've got a Renault Alpine A110. I've got a Jaguar E-Type. And we've got... This was a must, I was not leaving that there. The Ford Mustang Fastback. I absolutely adore these. Especially these classic ones. So much rather this classic, six, I believe that's a 68, over a uh, modern one. Even though I pretty much love all Mustangs. And we've got a Renault 12, just because, weird. <laughs> and the Hot Wheels is just a couple of uh, the five car gift packs. I got the Nissan pack, because these were literally the only two there, and they're like, buy one, uh, get one half price, I think, something like that. Might have gone off run on these anyway. So I've got the Nissan pack. And basically the full before pack. Well, they call it the Remote Adventures pack, which is literally just full befores. <laughs> that one looked a bit uh, fantasy styled to me. Yeah, I think it is the only one in there though. Ooh. Seems like it's been ages since I've um, had any die cast. In fact, I just remember or just realised I've been a bit of a doofus. I had a video on this camera um, where I went through a box of die cars and I th think I may have deleted it. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, I did. Whoops, I'll have to redo that one now. Give me something to do over the weekend, won't it? Right, <coughs> so we've done the light, we've done the die cast. I don't believe this PC. So, I don't know why, but I had a bit of a, an itch, I suppose. You know, I've been getting rid of some of my current computer bits and bobs and um, made a bit of room. And for some reason, I just went looking on eBay for a project computer, an older one. I didn't want anything too modern. And pretty much for my price range, this was all I could find. <laughs> And it was advertised, basically sold as seen. Um, very good description though. I'm not sure 
being a compact, I'm not sure it's as desirable or as um, impressive as the advert claimed, but we all have our own opinions on compact. I don't actually mind compact myself. Anywho, it's a compact Desk Pro 6400, according to the advert. I can't find a model number on this, but that's what it is. And you might have to uh, just bear with, because Smudge is sitting right in the way. <laughs> Floppy disk drive. I think that's just a CD-ROM drive. Designed for Windows NT and Windows 98 sticker on there. Pentium 2 processor. It did come with a hard drive. And it is still installed. Uh, the problem is... Said hard drive died. Well, to be fair, when I turned this on the first time, it didn't sound great, but it did boot into Windows 98 when I selected safe mode. However, <laughs> um, it's not done it since then. The hard drive has made a huge racket and then it just, just flatlines, basically. Um, so, the BIOS battery is dead. But it's this odd size. It's a CR2430. So I have ordered a pack of these from Amazon. They should arrive tomorrow. So I'm feeling up to it tomorrow. I might actually change the hard drive. As you can see, I've got six from my own collection to choose from. Um, I don't believe I can actually put any bigger than 20 gigabyte on a Windows 98. Um, I don't think it can see anything bigger. That's why I got the hard drives out, because I went and bought the uh, batteries. Only £4 something for a pack of ten, even though I only want one, but I'll have spares at least. Yeah, so I've got quite a mix of uh, spare drives here. What is this one? That's a Fujitsu. I've got a couple of old Quantum Fireballs here, and they all work. I have actually tested all of these, or at least the last time I tested them, they did work. We've got a couple of old Seagates here. I'm not sure what this one is. But for what this will, you know, be used for, I don't need anything bigger. That's a 20 gig. I'm going to rub a bit around it. I remember those. I had loads of those years ago. Oh, I've got, have I got two quantum fireballs. Yeah, I have. And then I've got a IBM Desk Star. I don't actually know the uh, size of this one either. <laughs> Warranty void if screw is removed. I have no intentions on removing said screw. But yeah, I'm, I don't know, a couple of years or so ago, I went through every hard drive in my cu cupboard to check them to make sure they did boot up, they sounded okay, and uh, formatted them all. And I've got some that I've had Windows installed on and throw them in the cupboard. Oh, this one might be a bit big because it's an 82.3 gigabyte. What a weird number. Why don't I just call it an 80 gig? <laughs> so yeah, that one's a bit too big. So I've got five hard drives. If there's anything you can do to Windows 98 to, uh, you know, make it see bigger drives, I can't remember. But I'm not too fast. Like I said I don't need a big drive on here. I'm going to plug in the power. Turn the power on. I'm going to put the monitor up here. I'll keep the keyboard and mouse over this side. Just goes out of the way. I don't know why I've kept uh, damaged my screen somehow. I can't feel a crack or anything in there, but that's obviously what's happened. I know it got knocked about on this work to where I've been moving stuff around, so I'm guessing that's what happened. I'll just have to keep my eyes open in the charity shop and see if I can find a, a replacement. And if I don't win a computer that I'm bidding on, that's what I will do, but you know, this cover isn't quite slid on properly. So much that the uh, the uh, button won't. And yeah, got power turned on. There we go.
I've got a feeling it's not going to boot unless I put the battery in, is it? I don't know if you can hear that hard drive, right? it's, uh, that is making some very, <laughs> very uh, interesting noises. Right, we have to pop the cover off and temporarily put the old battery back in. <sighs> Can't do it that way around, I'll do it this way around. We'll push in two locking tabs. And the sort of wiggle it. Come on, off you come. Come, off it. There we go. I knew I should have left the cover off. I don't know what the hard drive is, I just know it's there. It's got a laptop style um, CD drive in it, which I didn't think they did on systems as old as this one. I only did it on some Windows XP machines because I know um, Dell did, I've actually got a Dell machine. <laughs> that does it. Right, that's the old battery put in again. We've got a slot here, so I'm going to show you that slot in a minute, because I don't know what it is. I thought it was like a dim slot for RAM. Laptop RAM, but in. Okay, so now it's not even posting. So now I've got to ask the question, On the wrong thing. Now I know I removed the RAM, so have I accidentally nudged something in the RAM? Dropped a bit of dust or something in it, so we'll see if the RAM is okay. Just take that out. I'm just gonna take that out, thank you. I haven't got an air can or anything like that to blow it out with, so a breath it has to be. That is definitely the one that actually came out of that. It was posting lovely earlier, but now I've got the camera on. <laughs> it's not going to, is it? Alright, so let's just reseat that. Pop that back down. That is a RAM error beep, isn't it? I keep getting hold of the bloody heat sink for the process and I have no idea how on earth you would get that off. Give it a little bit of a wiggle. There we go, and give it a wiggle. So it is the RAM that needed to clean out then. I thought the whole thing had broken. I know date and time is not set, I'm not worried about it. I don't know if you can hear the racket that hard drive was making. Or F1. Yeah, I just need to. Uh, Actually sounds marginally better than it did earlier, but <laughs> not brilliant. That is dreadful. Now, I could go down the road of installing a CF card adapter in here, but I don't want to. I've got spare hard drives. I personally love the sound of these old hard drives, and I'd rather go original. Um, but that's not to say I'm not looking into uh, buying 
some CF card adapters. Because I have got some in my watch list. That would be funny if that booted off by smack the front of this, wouldn't it? I didn't think this um, had a hard drive included, but I checked the um, listing and it actually doesn't say whether it's got one included or not. <laughs> and a little flat line. Boink. There we go. <laughs> And it'll just sit here, it won't do anything, whether I can press buttons on the keyboard and that's it. So, yeah, unfortunately, hard drive died. It had its final boot up with me at least. Get your nose out of there, I better turn that off before you stick your nose on something. And I'm going to unplug it. LED on on the board. Right beside what actually looks like a bridge rectifier, but I don't know why you'd have one on the motherboard. Oh, uh, no, that's not a bridge rectifier, it's got too many um, connections. Um, audio amp, maybe? I hope I've still got a Windows 98 install disk. Otherwise I'm going to have to faff around trying to find it on one of my hard drives and install. Uh, what's this do? Oh, that's a shame, it's an old quantum fireball. At least I figured out how to get that out. I might have to go and find some of my floppy disks though, so I could try the floppy disk drive. Okay. Can't get the damn thing back in now. show you that uh, I would like to know what it is and it is I think you can see it from there that's the riser card that you got a slot in here it looks like a dim slot for a laptop dim but it isn't I've tried so does anyone know what that slot is actually for so I really don't know a lot about these machines. But, uh, got an onboard speaker on the side there. Yeah, there we go. Big old heatsink there for the processor, but uh, no fan. And no room to put a fan. It's I think it's basically relying on the fan that's on the power supply there. Which sounds okay, these capacitors around the uh, processor, they look fine. I mean, with the age of this, it wouldn't hurt to recap them, but I'm not that good. Now, why won't that nudge itself forwards? There we go. I didn't push it down enough. But, uh, this actually opens really well. I forgot to uh, show you that. I haven't tried this. Right. 
I'm just going to leave the uh, BIOS battery where it is for now. Um, I'll take it out tomorrow when the uh, new battery arrives. I'm surprised I can still buy them actually. Because it's a, it's a size that I've never heard of. Because it's, uh, it's got a wider diameter than the uh, more common CR2032, which is what that one is. Oh, I've got instructions on here on how to uh, open everything up. Power supply tilts. <laughs> According to this, the power supply tilts. I've got to remove the the riser card. It's got an ISA slot on it as well. It's a bugger that I got rid of my ISA cards now, isn't it? Oh well. But at least you can put full height. Um, upgrade cards and whatnot in here. What that's all? No. According to that, this should. Should just flip out. It is loose, it's not in there tight, so maybe it does, but I'm not going to force anything. Should line up like that. There we go, it slides in. Got one cap there that I didn't see, but that is okay. So it is actually a compact CD ROM drive. It's got a Compact Computer Corporation on it. Uh, can't see nothing on the floppy drive though. <coughs> you just love it when you cough, just as you take a swig from your drink. Right. Uh, I think that will be it for this video. And hopefully tomorrow I will be able to put the camera on again and film getting this working. Let me just check to see if I've got a disc here if I'm, I'm going to have to uh, burn another off. I've got all sorts in this case. I could do with a nice clean Windows 10, Vista, Vista, Windows 10, Windows ME. I could put Windows ME on it. XP, SP3. Windows 7, XP, another ME disk, Windows 95, Windows 98 SE, so I have got one, it's good. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> Got the disk stuck. Here we go. I've got a bucket load of other... Uh, discs as well. Right, anyway. Take a look at my mug again. Here we go. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone. You know, if, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And uh, maybe consider subscribing. It's free. It doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe. It just helps you follow the channel and their videos and what not only if you do hit the subscribe button remember to hit the little excuse me not, uh, notification bell um, and if you want to feel free to check out the video description down below because um, I will have links to my other two YouTube channels you might like to check those out and uh, my discord server and my twitch channel Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.